Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Now very recently, our friends Care for Calais have put out an article on their website entitled, This is our country, we must fight for it. Now, rather than uh, send you guys a link to the article so you can read it and just laugh, I thought it would be funny to read it out, amateur dramatic style, both me and Cheryl. So uh, without further ado, Let's go. Enjoy. Four weeks ago, I discovered to my horror that people in my hometown were planning an anti-refugee demonstration outside a local hotel housing asylum seekers. I was shocked that this was happening on the very streets where I once walked to school. I'm proud of my town and I've always believed it to be open, fair and welcoming to strangers. Now I was worried that if I saw the demonstrators in amongst there could be someone I went to school with. But when the far right feels... Racists! As it did in Nosley, that they've had a success, they're emboldened and the anti-refugee attacks increase as they have in Nosley. And then that's why, one cold rainy night, a small group of us traped through the streets to the hotel and stood against the demonstrators for several hours. Julia, where did you all? But the second week we had to get more organised. There were more of us and we made banners and signs which made all the difference. Recognising who we were supporting, passers-by began shouting their support. Motorists waved and hooted their horns. Feeling the warmth of real support from the local community was amazing. And at one point when the demonstrator shouted, Go home! The policeman lost his temper and yelled, They have got no fucking homes. Oh, then somebody think of the children. It hardens me immensely that since that night, people have worked hard to reach out to the community with amazing results. And by the time we reached the fourth week, no anti-refugee protest has turned up at all. But we have to remember, this wasn't a one-off incident in my hometown or in Nosley but a bigger battle for the very heart and soul of our country. Yours, Claire, volunteer, care for Calais. (laughs) 